Let me head back up to this bit. There's one part I didn't explore. Okay, one of the next three chests is going to be good. Oh, no. One of the next two chests is going to be good. Is this Cerberus? Okay. <laughs> okay, so one of these two has to be good. Fuck you, game. Seriously, the last like 20 chests have had nothing. Nothing of note. Sorry, I actually got some work to do. Ah, the map is there. Good. But the level started going up a lot more slowly now, which I think is a good thing. I'm having to work a lot more for these next levels. Okay, I pretty much unlocked the entirety of this bit anyway. Most I've seen with combo so far has been five, and I've, I've got I get that maybe like two percent of the time. I obtained the next potion. I think I did not go up to this bit. Oh, that's where the map was, my bad. Okay, this is the final little extra bit left and then we can continue. Oh, my God. 
Nice. Even a three hit combo is just. It's so beast. Okay, alright, sorry. Turn to fucking Muhammad Ali. Parried like four attacks in a row. I've got to check this diamond armlet. I hope it's not the case that I'm getting knots of rust instead of getting better things. Basically, I think all those times I've got knots of rust, I could have gotten better things instead. I think to that end, what I may do is come back in here and steal some more chests. Like spend like five minutes re-stealing some chests here. So to do that, I need to head back to Goldmore Jungle. And go from there. Because I was saying, this can't be right, man. There's got to be something to it. Fight of Serum. I'm assuming that's for disease status. I think that's the first time I've gotten something like that. Yep. I still don't think I've been hit. I don't think I've been hit with disease at all yet. Maybe once, actually. Can't remember where, though. Okay, this is my last hope. Alright, nothing. So, based on what I've seen, I've not... I've not missed any good chests. Yep, yeah, okay. Ready to move on. After that little detour. Bosch has gone up to 37. Let's calm him down and take him off the front line for a bit. Vaughn, it's finally time for you to get your nice daggers. He's got some battle laws down here, which could be useful. Let's get this one. Let's get him Kuraja. Screw it, man. Let's give the, the dude more power. Fran can get her swiftness. Might as well get these two potion laws are quite nearby. Bash. Just keep beasting, my friend. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start off with Curaja. Of course. I think the time has come for her to get her... She's already got these, so I don't think it matters if I go for this one or not. At least she can get extra battle law. I don't know how helpful that's going to be, but... Just up her magic, man. There we go. That's some optimization for you. Let's use... Um, my boy as a healer. See how that's going to work. Okay, I've taken a little bit of a risk and switched things up here and gone for a team that doesn't really have a proper healer. Because Valtia's well and good, but he can't equip the Sage's Ring yet. And he has fairly low MP, and he's got, he doesn't really have anything to heal status effects. So that's something we've got to be careful of. Oddly enough, Frank can take care of blindness, but that's about it. Unless this heads into a boss battle, in which case I have to change everything completely. But we'll have to see. I think it is. <laughs> a dense mist prevents you from advancing. Wait, what?
Follow me, says Rosla, but... Was that a warning shot, or is that, like, we just can't get through? Yeah, it was a warning shot. This team has to change completely. But we can't. Great! This is not good. Okay, France is getting straight in with their ogre, which is good. Reflect HP. Oh. That's not good at all. We're going to end up killing ourselves straight off the bat here. Uh, let's see if I can get her to cancel her move by throwing a dispel moat instead. Or is it too late? It's too late. Okay. We've got confusion. We've got a whole host of really ugly things happening here. Okay. This may well be that interesting boss battle that I've been waiting for for a long time. Varn can protect against confusion. I think I have one. I have three bowline sashes. Okay. Who else can do this? I think that's got to be the most critical condition here that I need to protect against. I'll base my front line on who I think can protect against it. The answer is no one except Varn and Pinello, which is good. Okay. Balthier is the only one that's still functioning. Let's snap Vaughn out of it. He's very dangerous at this stage. Okay, she's recovered. I just wish there was a way I could get people out of here, but I can't. Disable as well, just to add insult to injury. And wait, everyone's been disabled. Disable, God, that's, that's just such a mean move. That hurt me a lot in the, uh, the Girl Snapper boss battle as well. So do we need, should we go for this or should we, I think Fran should go for that. At least that will give her a way to, okay. Alright, let's see. All of her MP has been drained as well, as Fran, so... I'm still disabled. Let's get the more powerful Bash in there. Alright, let's start attacking now, I think. It's about bloody time. So, disease seems to be an M MP drain, or... Yeah, everyone's just losing all of their MP, like, straight away. I'm gonna keep going. Let's start going on the attack here, otherwise we're not gonna make any progress.
I did manage to get one serum. So I'm going to use that on Fran. But the way it's just abused my MP is impressive. Someone's got to start. Someone's got to start doing something here. Because with this MP drainage, we're suffering serious issues. Once you start damaging it, it's not all too bad. I think it's probably better to just blitz this guy instead of trying to mess around, trying to recover from all of its status effects. You should probably just take that guy out. She gave it to Barsh first, which was really wise. You see that MP just being worn away. I say we use a series of quickenings here because it's going to be a bit of a race against time once everyone's done with their MP. We need to damage this thing like big time. So let's do it. I need. So finally, a battle that has a bit of everything, man. We've got some. We've got a shitload of state effects. State effects. We can't for the life of us get our MP back. I don't have the siphon ability or anything like that either. We can win this. There we go, we've got mischarging nice and quick for once. Okay, getting some good hits in here. I think my main problem was not starting with the right party, otherwise I could have got a, like two or three aerogas in there before it started to overwhelm me with its state effect. Got lucky there, got lucky. So I've kind of opted for starting to just mash, like pressing the other buttons along with R2 as well, that seems to be working a little bit better. Wow, I think I've hit 10 for the first time. I did say I needed a good one. Finally, I get a nice beast. Quickening chain. Alright, 10 hits. New record. And it came at just the right time. Clutch performance. It'd be funny if it only took away like 20, like 20% 20 of his HP after all that. Luminescence. A new finisher. Okay. I'm already out of high ethers. I used them up like instantly. gonna get Ash attacking here as well I think. Yeah if you can't if you can't cure just attack because we ain't got time. Raffles here calls for help. He's bringing in little Malbros. Damn bruh. Okay. These Malbros should be weak. Is about to die. Mm. 
I think as a last ditch, what I have to do here is just make all of the... Just, we can no longer rely on anything else. So forget trying to do any of that shit. Let's switch to high potions, we've got plenty of them. And in time we get hit with some big states effects, then we'll change things around. Canelo's gonna die, but at least she'll come back without sap and with some more HP. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, so sap doesn't actually kill you, that's interesting. Final adjustment, so they actually start attacking. Otherwise, Ash is never going to join in the attack. So yeah, it's not always about Kura, Kuraga, I guess. We're so close. We are so close. But, Penelo hasn't been confused. She has no MP to deal with it though, so she has to... Use a couple more remedies. Alright, we're nearly there. There we go. That was a good boss battle. I enjoyed that. It was the first battle where I had to like come up with a totally new way of thinking. I just kept insisting on trying to get the MP back, but then it was just like that was not going to happen. Managed to survive. Alright, now we're free to go. She's still confused. Let's head back. What the hell was that? Or we just go. There we go, everybody back. How much LP did we get? I think of decent no. No, I don't think we've got any LP actually. Yeah. So I guess that's where those potion laws and remedy laws really start to come in handy. Okay, we need to get Balthia closer to the Sage's Ring. There's no real easy way to get there. 60 60. Okay, let's just head on and see what's going to happen. I think I saw a chest or two. I don't know if the, the chests that I saw during the boss battle are still going to be there now or whether they only appear during the battle. So X potions have started to pop up. I think if that battle was really, really getting critical, I was going to start to fire off X potions as well, but I wanted to save them. I didn't want to use up like everything for that one boss. Because I started it off so badly, I figured I'm, I'm probably better off dying and coming back better prepared than to waste everything I have and still get through. So what now? Got a brand new area. Need to get out of the wait mode. 
Like, nah. Whoops. Praying Mantis level 43. Okay, this Praying Mantis is not weak to... It's only weak to Holy. So we've got to put something in place for when that happens. Uh, insect husk. So a lot of these guys are around at the same time. The Althea finally starting to hit for over a thousand damage as well, which is nice. And even with fire, we're still doing big, big damage. Ah, oh, shit, it's the reflect guys here. Ah. Uh, Damn it. Every time you think you've got a gambit set up correctly, something else happens and you have to switch up. That's why I wish, like I said, we had gambit presets that we could go back to. Fran, you're just going to have to stand there for a little bit while we get things done. Otherwise, you end up killing everyone. Crisis has been averted. Uh... Oh, my friends. My old friends. I was just thinking to myself, we haven't had any serpent type enemies around for a while. Where have they gone? Got something called a juggernaut trying to roll up. Can't leave with the thing. It's not a good start. Let's have her use bio for a bit. Why not? Yeah, Bio still seems to be doing good damage, even when it doesn't work. And it doesn't seem to be immune to sap either. There we go, hit it with slow. Yeah, Balthi is still not a very good healer yet. He needs more MP. A better magic. As long as it doesn't keep using that try attack constantly, it'll be okay. You can see his cure is barely 600. We're nearly there. The bio is barely taking away from Fran's MP at all. That's pretty nice. So see, Balthier has already ran out of MP. the map of the area as well, which is going to help. It says this candle can reveal hidden pathways. 
That I like the sound of. Okay, guys, I've got somewhere I need to be. I need to stop because I'm thinking if this is the nearest Satyr is pretty close by, I feel like the next one's going to be too far away because I need to be somewhere in about 20 minutes, I think. It's probably unwise to continue right now. And Balthier in the long run, he's not going to be able to do it. So 